So we're told that x is strictly between 6 and 7, and y is equal to 8. We want to know what's greater, x over y or 0 0.85. Well, a good place to start on a question like this is to just plug in numbers that, that fit the restrictions of the problem. So let's do that. Let's say uh, x is, I don't know, 6.5, and y is 8. I don't have much, much choice there. y has to be 8. And when I do that, and I use my handy-dandy calculator, I find that it comes out to about, I think it's like 0.81, right? And so we see, okay, b is greater. And some students might stop there and say, game over, quantity b is greater. But what you have to remember about these answer options is that there's a missing word implicit in there. And that word is always. And it's helpful to, to remember that. Is b always greater? Could there be some other number we could plug in for x that would make quantity A greater than quantity B or maybe even equal to it? Well, there is, and here it is. Let's plug in something higher in that, in that range, 6.9 maybe. What's 6.9 divided by 8? Well, that comes out to about 0 0.86. And so I have this conflicting case where quantity A is greater. So I can't say that quantity B is always greater. I can't say that quantity A is always greater. I can't say that the two quantities are always equal. So I'm left with answer option D. The relationship cannot be determined because we have conflicting cases.